Hello YouTube, this is Paul and I'm a reformed nerd and welcome to Railway Empire. However, to be quite accurate, maybe I should say welcome back to Railway Empire. I tried to record this yesterday, however, uh, it turned out that after about 10 minutes of my gameplay, I had hit mute on my microphone. And then I spent another hour playing and talking to myself like a madman. So I'm going to give this another try. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, it probably isn't such a bad thing that that happened because that first playthrough ended in a little bit of a disaster simply because I had two trains stuck looking at each other and I could just not find a way to get them to move. So hopefully I do better this time. <laughs> but this game really did appeal to me. I only learned about it a couple weeks ago when I saw another creator on YouTube play it and it just really appealed to me. But the thing that really sold it was the fact that they have a Great Lakes DLC. Uh, I'm originally from the Great Lakes area, and my hometown pretty much only existed for the sole purpose of transitioning cargo from a train to a barge to um, a boat. And yeah, so in the end, having a Great Lakes DLC just kind of hits close to home for me. I'm going to go ahead and start with an 1850 start date. And these are the cities that you have to choose from. Uh, I did choose Pittsburgh last time, but these mountains got in the way to such a degree that I ran out of money so quickly uh, that it I don't want to do that again. So <laughs> I'm going to go on ahead and select... I'm going to go with Toledo. Um, probably next to Pittsburgh, it's the closest to my hometown, so yeah, I'm going to support Toledo here. Okay, I'm going to put the AI up to hard, realistic, I want manual pause. And this one surprises me, snowfall defaults to off. However, like I said, I'm originally from this area, and I can tell you from experience that snowfall does not default off in the Great Lakes area. <laughs> Are you a man or a mouse? This is no time to hesitate. All right, and then you have your character selection. My colleagues simply don't have what it takes. When I was coming through this, I, I, I couldn't help to notice that it looks like someone had tied her legs into a, a nylon bag. I have no idea what the intention of that is, but good on her for that. According and the other one I wanted to point out Send them home in body. Uh, send them back in. Is the gangster? Because, like I said, I'm starting this in 1850, so he definitely seems like a a man out of time, so to speak. The rest, the business plan. I know I had it here somewhere. But I'm gonna go with the engineer, mainly because he looks like Doc from Back to the Future, and I thought that was cool. And then I noticed that his name is actually Doc as well, so maybe that design choice was intentional. Alright, so here we are. I'm just gonna go ahead and go... I'm just gonna go ahead and pause up a little bit and get a, the lay of the land. Okay, well fair enough, I've looked around a little bit. I'm not entirely sure if Toledo's a great place to start, simply because the closest city here is Indianapolis, which is a beer-producing city, and Toledo is also a beer producing city. So until these cities grow, there's not really a lot of opportunity for trade between them just because they're both producing the same thing. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to take heart on Chicago here, which is a meat producing city. So uh, Toledo can buy the, the meat and leather and Toledo can sell the beer. So I think this could be a lucrative exchange here as opposed to going down to Indianapolis. The only other thing I have to keep in mind, however, is the grain here, which is needed for Toledo to produce the beer, is a little bit far away, so I might need to work out a pretty efficient system so I can get multiple trains bringing the grain to the city of Toledo. Beyond that, the game does give you a list of tasks, so a, a connection between Toledo and Chicago, perfect. That was what I was planning to do anyway. Seven rural nation, uh, rural stations, a rail network, three industries, fair enough. I don't think that these tasks are mandatory. I'm not entirely sure, simply because, like I said in my game yesterday, I did so poorly I never even created 
I never even achieved the first task, let alone manage anything um, better than that. So we'll find out together. So to start with, the first thing you need before you can start running trains is a station. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and get a station built. And I'm going to go and do the same thing here in Chicago. Go ahead and get another station here. And then I need to connect them by rail. And this should be my first task. Hey! So do I get something for that? Um, no. Okay, so just score. No extra money or anything. Okay, well, that's disappointing. But... <laughs> Regardless, uh, that does seem like a pretty decent place to start. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new line set up between these cities. And I only have one train to choose from, so I guess I'll go for that. And then I am also going to hop down here to get the grain coming in. from the farm. And there we go. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and set up a second line between Toledo and the farm, and go on ahead and add another locomotive here. Perfect. So I think that's a decent place to start. The only other thing I have in mind is to get the corn flowing to Chicago as long as well as steer simply because Chicago is a meat producing city so it would be beneficial for both of these to be coming in so the steer of course gets turned into meat and the corn helps the cities grow in regards to growing cities they do give you a pretty handy list here in regards to what the city needs to be able to sustain itself however I don't think you are obligated to grow cities uh, I think growing cities are, of course, beneficial simply because as cities grow, the demand goes up and industries get formed so you can produce new goods, which you can use to trade for money. So it is beneficial to grow the cities, but again, I don't think it's really required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to wrap this line around the city. Okay, and I'm going to set up a small train station here, just to get that corn going. Another spur heading out towards the meat. Hmm. I apparently underestimated how much rail I needed for that. Uh, that goes all the way back to the beginning. That's one thing I don't like. They don't really give you a lot of options in regards to deleting just a part of a line from what I can tell. So, perfect. That will work. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these lines set up for... Uh, yeah, I want a new line from here 
not editing the existing line. So, there we go. I got my corn coming in. I did it again, didn't I? Set up a new line. Steer coming in for the meat. Adding a locomotive to that. Very good. But, this is where the game actually gets a little bit complicated. So, despite the fact that you have the trains going in the right direction, they obviously can't go at the same time in the same place. And you need to avoid them from running into each other. So these little signals are in place to have trains stop and wait when the track is occupied. But it's also to your benefit not to have that wait too long, simply because when a train is waiting, it obviously is not delivering goods. So it's best to set up parallel tracks when possible. How much would it be just to run a parallel track all the way down? It's not too bad, really. 30,000? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just set this up. And I'm going to have this signaled. Same thing down here. And there we go. Just to kind of keep the trains in order so that, that they are not going to be wasting too much time. But trains also need supplies as they are going back and forth. So a supply tower here will do the trick because of both trains going on both of these routes would be able to stop and benefit from that. Another item, of course, is that trains don't run forever without getting occasionally a repair or two. So it's to my benefit to throw on a few repair posts at the main stations just to keep the trains from breaking down mid-route. Perfect. So I'm happy with the start so far. Oh, got my first competitor up here from Minneapolis. Okay. Okay, and New York is running in grain. And uh, Montreal is running in beer. Very good. I still got a bit of money as well. How much would it be to set up a parallel track along the way here? Another 100,000 for that. I think that could be to my benefit. But I am actually going to go on ahead and run the track. Wait, what happened? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Thank you, game. I appreciate the suggestion. Yep. D6. 
selecting these are a pain at times. So I am going to run that second track, but what I'm going to do is put it on the outside. And the reason for that is as you expand train stations, the tracks get added on the outside rather than the inside. So by doing it this way, once I do have these stations expanded, I can actually just have that second line going directly onto a separate part of the track. However, for the short term, I have my eye on this wood. So how much would it cost to set up something heading in to get the wood? Pretty much all of my money. Okay. So I don't think this is something I'm going to do just yet, but it would be something on my to-do list for the short term. That being said, I do think I've got enough set up here. Although I am really scratching my head on Indianapolis. I mean, as I said, there's no reason to trade beer here simply because there's no one to buy the beer in Toledo itself. But it does have nearby grain. No, St. Louis is making beer too. Uh, is there any other c cities here? Baltimore's meat. Pittsburgh is beer. Okay. So, frankly, the only real place I could get Indianapolis to send the beer is going to be Baltimore, which would have to go through the mountains. And when I had that last game in Pittsburgh I, and I tried to connect it to Baltimore, it pretty much zapped an entire million dollars just to get that line in place because of the bridges and the tunnels needed to get through the damn mountains. <laughs> Well, London is meat. So if I do have... I could possibly have Toledo send its beer to London instead. Which would allow a very long way for Indianapolis to get its beer to Chicago. Which would probably not be efficient for the short term but I'll take a look at possibly exploring that in the future. Regardless, I do think I have enough set up that I'm just gonna go ahead and let time progress and see if everything is running the way I thought it would. Perfect, so I do have that first train of meat getting set up to depart, waiting for Mason Farms and Toledo. So it's waiting for this train. Mm. Well, I don't want it to be waiting in Chicago. It could definitely be making some progress. Oh, that's why. I never singled up the tracks. Got it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the signal in place here. just to create kind of a one day one way corridor between the cities and that should be enough yes so that train is off and he's waiting oh so he's gonna pull up at that Okay, but after... Yeah, okay, so the supply station acts as a signal. So he is free to progress up to the supply hub. Oh, and I didn't signal this track either. Alright, so it's not a problem yet. But did I supply? Okay, so I set up this side, but I didn't set up this side. Oh, wait, no, I did. It's right here. Okay. I just didn't do it on this track. 
But I don't need to, because that's one way in the opposite direction. Hey, how about that? I was smarter than I thought I was. <laughs> so, I got my first corn coming into Chicago. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm not so smart. I forgot to put in a supply track. A supply tower. Between these cities. And did I put one on this line? No, I did not put one on this line either. So I'm going to just put them in the middle so that hopefully that's going to be enough to keep them running. And where is this train? Ah, here he is. He's making the round here to get that grain up into Toledo. Okay, so who's going to be stopping for who here? Because I only have one track. Okay, uh, ah, okay. <laughs> Waiting for Mason Farm to Toledo. Alright, well, that's good and all, but do I have a signal on this track? No, I have no signals on this track, so... I'm going to go on ahead and set this up just so that both sides have a stopping and waiting option. But since he's already stopped, I think this one is going to go straight into Toledo and turn around and head back out. Very high quality unloading animation here, obviously. Oh, yep. Yeah. So with that, we got 16,000 from that train, and off he goes to get another set. Yes, and the meat is already on its way in. So hopefully this will be a full unload of the meat. And a pickup on the beer. Sixteen thousand from that, and uploading the beer. And that's one thing I do like about this game. At least there's no complicated roundhouse systems like that you have to, to get into. More than I used to. Anyway, I'm drinking more. I'm not sure what he meant by that. But all the power to him. I'm glad he's happy with his drinking habits. Okay. Well, that wasn't a full load of corn. It was the... Okay. So, he's heading out. But where are my cows? Okay, so he's actually on his way down with new cows. So I do have this one little section here where it's not double tracked. I'm just and is he on the wrong? Is he going the wrong way or? No. Okay. So I think it's okay. Hmm, conductor. Profit from transportation and mail up 10%. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and hire him because there was an idea I was playing around with in regards to Indianapolis, uh, which is here. Here it is. Even though, like I said, they're exchanging beer for beer. There is also passengers and mail in this game. So, if you actually set it up. Did you just claim another city again? <laughs> okay. He didn't seem to like that. 
But if I get in ahead and get these lines together, I think that's a, a fair point to do that. So now I have a rail connection between Indianapolis and Toledo. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a locomotive and hire that conductor. So now I have a purely passenger and mail train running between these two cities. However, of course, that does also mean I'm going to need to buy a couple of more signals. So I don't want that one way, but I do want it to prevent this train from going onto this track when it is occupied. So I'm going to put up two more stop signals here to prevent that. And this one will help protect the the actual station in Toledo as well. All right, let's see how that looks. <clears throat> hmm. And yeah, they're actually already getting loaded up pretty quickly here with a full passenger and mail shipment heading on up to Toledo. And where's my grain? Where's the grain train? I don't... Oh, wait, no, that was... It was there? Oh, okay, no, no, he was loading up on the train here, so... Well, I don't think it's going to be a problem this time. I think this is probably going to get unloaded and head back to Toledo before the grain gets into play. But I'm just going to keep an eye on that over the next couple of weeks. Corn has been reduced because the maximum stock has been reached. Hmm. Well, I would like to get the corn out to, to Toledo, because Toledo needs that corn to grow too. So what would be the best way to get that done? Because Chicago will need some corn now and again, but if it has too much corn, yeah, it's only using 0.3 at a time. Corn and grain. And wood. Corn, grain, and wood. I need. Okay. So I got grain. Wood is way up here. And got corn here. So I need to find a way to get this corn to Toledo. And this wood to both to enable them to grow and then this grain all the way out to Chicago unless there's closer grain well, there, there is grain up here no sorry that's more corn ah oh, goodness so where can I find grain you're telling me Iowa is not producing any grain okay they got some corn down here but literally no grain Oh, here's some up here by Fargo. Oh, yes, because Fargo is a nice, warm place to grow corn. Ah, that's not even grain. Good grief. I wish those were slightly more differentialized. Oh, what is this? Coal. Oh, okay, I didn't even know there's mines in this game. Okay. So, yeah, if I want to get grain to Chicago. Let me see. What if I went out this way? It'd be 239,000. But I could set up 
a line to Indianapolis and to here but then all that grain is gonna go to Indianapolis because Indianapolis needs the grain for the beer hmm I'm thinking I might want to set up a warehouse. Because if I put a warehouse around here somewhere, I could get the wood down to the warehouse, have just a train going back and forth between here and there. I can get the corn to the warehouse back and forth to here, and I can get a second train with grain going back and forth to the warehouse here and then I can have trains set up specifically to get to that warehouse from Chicago and Toledo I think that may be the best way to do it because running trains all the way from the farm to Chicago and from this farm to Toledo it's just gonna get really tricky and clog up that that one line I've got going back and forth between these two so a warehouse is 200. Ooh, that's going to take pretty much all of my money. All right. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and get that down for now. Yeah, I think... I think here would be fine. And I will need to go on ahead and get this wired up onto the system, of course. <sighs> so, what if I just get a third line to run parallel? And that is pretty expensive still. So if I could keep the warehouse traffic off of the main line, that could be beneficial. How much will it cost to get the tracks in place to the wood? Another 100,000 just to get up to the wood. But that's with a bridge. I wonder if I can... Yeah, if I go here... I can avoid the need for a bridge. And that does bring the cost up a little bit. Alright, so I can maybe probably play around with this and cut the cost down a little bit. But yeah, that wood's going to be expensive to bring into the system. So I think first I will need to do... The first thing I need to do is to... Get a spur out and around Toledo and a spur out from around Chicago just so I can facilitate that movement of the corn and the grain. That way if Chicago doesn't want to buy the corn it doesn't have to. Alright so I'm just gonna let time progress here so I can get a little bit of my money coming back in. Okay, so I got the meat leaving and the cows coming in and my one train with corn on it. I'm selling it for probably a discount. Okay, so I got my 16 from here. Okay, now it's being fixed with the maintenance shed. being loaded with what? Okay, nothing. I just guess it just has to go through that little loading. Alright, and then we got the corn coming in, so that's working pretty well for now. I'm already up to 58. Innovation available. Alright, what's available? Okay. Uh, oh. I need zero of three. Okay, so I have to wait to get this one. But this is the one I was thinking I wanted anyway. This is actually the one that's a little bit faster with the freight. And it's pretty much... 
better in any every way it's stronger and faster so I definitely want to get this one unlocked as soon as I can and express increases the number of passengers in every city by 8% well, that could be valuable in regards to my Indianapolis Toledo line but I don't think that's a priority I think getting the faster train for everything would be best so all right, I have 120 and I'm getting 40 per month so that's another two months to get the better train I think I can I can wait what's this here random breakdown okay nothing you can do about random breakdowns I'm, I'm okay with that plus he would have to wait anyway because this train was occupying the track that he needed so I am okay with that Let's see how this works. So he's coming into the city, so that means he's going to be pulling up here to stop. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so he's stopping at that signal. And I got a load of stakes coming into Toledo. So that should be another 16. Another 16, so I'm up to 74. And he's getting loaded up with beer. Oh, and one passenger. Yes, yeah, so I haven't made this line exclusively cargo, so passengers can get on it. But of course, I was just assuming that the beer and the steak would be taking up most of the room. So is Toledo going to be getting enough supplies of grain on its own? Yeah. Because I don't want Toledo taking the grain bound. Well, I think I have that option with the warehouses. I think I can tell that warehouse, the train going to the warehouse from Toledo, that he's not allowed to have any of the grain. Uh, at least I hope so, because if I'm getting another grain to Toledo on this train and from the, that to the warehouse here, I wouldn't want Toledo coming over and stealing the grain right out of the mouths of the people from Chicago. I don't think they'd be too friendly about that. So, getting that system set up for the warehouse. I guess that's about time that I do that. So uh, deselect. Where can I put this? Alright, there. So let me put up parallel tracks from there. Very good. And where is the warehouse? Okay. So, yeah, I could put it here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up to this point, and then I'm going to go ready the warehouse. Because uh, one of the, the, the coolest things I noticed from the guy I was watching with this game was how to use warehouses. Because frankly, that just confused the heck out of me when I was first looking at this game. But he had the cool idea that if you extended these out just a little bit I hope this is going to be far enough we'll see in a second but yeah if you extended out these tracks you could buy, build a supply tower Is this not working? Supply tower. I guess it's too close. Yeah, I was afraid of that. So I think I need to do this a little bit further. Uh, I 
keep hitting the track button when I really don't need to. I did it again. <laughs> so is that going to be far enough now that I can build a supply tower? Still not close and uh, still not far enough, I'm thinking. So. There we go. So I'm thinking this should be plenty far now. Supply tower, yes, finally. So I'll put the supply tower here. That way any trains coming from this direction automatically have access to that supply tower. So even if they don't get an opportunity to go through this supply tower, as these trains will coming from Toledo, they do have that opportunity there to prevent them from running out of whatever the necessities of trains are in regards to propulsion, I'm guessing. Alright, that's just not enough, so I'm going to pay and build and then wait a minute just to get that line up and running to the warehouse. Uh, I guess I can use this opportunity to throw the signal down here to prevent that train that I'm adding to the line from clogging up the this here. All right, so I got the spear coming in from Toledo. I got the cows waiting and ready to get into Chicago to be turned into meat. And how's my passenger train doing here? Where is it? Oh. Being serviced. Yeah, okay. So this is my passenger train. Making a pretty good profit, really. I think with all of the trains I've been looking at so far, it's probably the most profitable of the trains I've been running. Still running. Yeah, it's only 1477. Ooh, bandit. What, what, what's a bandit doing? Takes over a competitor's train and either robs passengers or steals the mail. <laughs> Lovely. I think I can do without that for the time being. But now I've got a little bit of money. Let me see if I can finish up this connection with the warehouse. Forgot to buy it. Okay. Purchase the rail and that's everything. What's this one waiting for? I don't. Is it at a stop? Why is it waiting for this train here? Why is it. Oh. Okay, I was, <clears throat> that was on pause, apparently. <laughs> um, it wasn't waiting, it was just on pause. Okay, that's great. So I guess I can get that line set up now for the warehouse to get the corn. Add the only locomotive I have access to to that. And why... Why isn't it carrying anything? Yeah, the, the farm had enough corn there. Why... So... I just have this train running to the warehouse now completely empty for no reason. 
All right. Well, I did get my 200 points, so I can unlock that. Call that a new locomotive? Does it have cannons <laughs> as well? What? Well, I don't get that comment about the cannons, but regardless, uh, that was the train I've been waiting for. It is faster and stronger than the trains I currently have, so really there's no reason not to put this onto every line. So I just go through and get this added on. And for only 5,000 a pop with the, the refund from the previous train, that's a pretty good deal as far as I'm concerned. Alright, I think that's all of them. Yeah, okay. So all of my trains have been upgraded. He's heading back to the farm. And that empty one is still coming around the bend. Maybe it just needs to go through the, the process once before it understands what it's supposed to do. But yeah, just blew right through Chicago. Didn't bother stopping. It wasn't supposed to, so at least that's working at minimum. No. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is get the next section set up. Oh yes, that's right. Okay, so I actually have to tell the warehouse what I want it to store. I just put those to the max, but that would explain why the the train is coming in with nothing because he wasn't aware that the warehouse wanted corn. So I guess I just wasted a little bit of time there to get that train to go through the whole process and, and take nothing with it. So, hey, fantastic. All right. Um, but at least I got that fixed. So now I can work on getting the next train. Come on. <sighs> this is always a little tedious because uh, the game is very picky in regards to where it will let you set up a parallel track. Alright, there we go. So, how much is it going to cost for me to get this to the warehouse? 49000 Okay, yeah, that's going to be a little bit much. So, I'll just put that tr track down now, and I'll come back and finish it off when I get the opportunity. Okay, got... More grain coming in to Tokyo. And... Hmm. A lot of passengers in mail have been getting onto this line. But, yeah, I mean, Chicago... Oh, creative accounting. Increases profits by the factories by 15%. I mean, it's not bad price for that. Do you even know what you were building <laughs> on? No, actually, not really. I, I don't entirely know what I was bidding on because I'm pretty sure I don't own any factories. Um, well. I don't really have a lot of money, but where are the factories going for? So if I wanted to buy the meat factory in Chicago, um, where do I buy that? Uh, okay, yeah, here. $309,000. Alright, so if I ever save up enough money to buy a factory, uh, at least I'll be getting an extra 15% profit off of it. <laughs> but for $309,000, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that anytime soon. But yeah, it seems to be making a, quite a bit of meat and leather, so that's good. Yeah. 
Why is this one waiting? Waiting for Chicago to Toledo. And I was paused again. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I I sometimes forget I'm in pause. Uh, <laughs> so. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Uh, what's this? Along this route, each local... I never set up a supply tower here? Oh, good. All right. Yeah, I thought I set up supply towers on all of my lines. So once I get enough money, I'll definitely do that. Welcome. Have you done your homework? What the heck does that mean? Alright, but... Analyst, so... Alright, he's a... Stock market guy. Okay. 21,000. I don't think I can afford that just yet. Twenty-four. Yeah, those passengers are giving me a decent amount of money. At least Indianapolis to Toledo. The train going from Toledo to Indianapolis never seems to be as full. Oh yeah, and that's what I was thinking of before I got distracted. The there's been a large number of passengers getting onto my cargo train. Oh no, I want to set up a new line. There we go. So, yeah, with all of those passengers hopping onto the freight line, it probably would be worth an investment to get a, an express train going. And that means I just have to make sure that I take off passengers and mail from the freight line just so that. I can focus on getting the items to market as opposed to clogging it up with passengers and mail. Okay, so another 16,000. Security, uh, security guard, that's a 5% increase in freight. But really, the only train I have going right now for freight is the one going back and forth between Chicago and Toledo. Where is he at? Okay, this is... Um, might as well put him onto that, because at least this, is the, this train is getting freight in both directions, as opposed to just going from the farm to the city center and then going back with nothing to get more produce. So that's a good line to have a security guard on. Oh, and I've got enough money now that I can finish the connection here with the warehouse. So I'll go on ahead and get that set up to track number two on the warehouse. If I can find a way that the game will let me do it. Okay. Bring it in as a parallel track, and there we go. Perfect. So now I got the Toledo line in place as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a new, new line. New line. There we go. To get the grain going for the for the warehouse. Add a freight train to it. There we go. So I think that's going to clog up the line a little bit. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. But there it goes. Um, is it going? What's the wait? Why is it waiting for that train? Waiting for Mason Farm in Toledo. So that one's on its way to Toledo. And am I paused? Okay. So I'm 
definitely going to have to take a look at getting this line signaled up just to prevent that train from sitting too far back when they could be getting at least a little bit closer. But I definitely think it's getting to a point where I might need to expand that station in Toledo. I've got a lot of trains going in and out now. Okay, so why is it not moving? If I set up a side rail here, at the very least, that should give a couple of opportunities for the trains to get past each other if their schedules ever get out of sync. So I'm going to go on ahead and set that up as a one-way, and do the same in the opposite direction. There we go. So now will the train move? Good. All right. There it goes. So it's going to at least move up to that point here, and I might as well do the same thing a little bit further down the line just to give it a second opportunity to pass the train coming from the other direction if ever, if that is ever a necessity. There we go. And same thing on the opposite line. Perfect. Right, so yeah, he's going to take that one way. And is he going to stop there or is he going to be able to keep. What's his random breakdown? It's completely off the track. <laughs> it derailed itself. That that's not a breakdown. That that's that's a that's a horrific tragedy. <laughs> but hey, at least all of the grain is still in place. <laughs> I've never seen that. Um, uh, is that gonna be able to get fixed? I don't. I don't entirely know what's going on. All right. Um, this train here is waiting for the Chicago line to get unloaded. Why is it waiting all the way back? Hey, there we go. It fixed itself. <laughs> oh, that, that's a fun bug. Okay. Okay, and the express train is on its way too. And is he going to stop at the end here? Yeah, it looks, sounds like he's slowing down. And then he's stopped at that signal, and this one's flying into the city. But why are they stopping there? Oh, because the train does need to get out and go in the opposite direction. That makes sense. Okay, and this one is waiting for Chicago Toledo, who's leaving the station now. So why is this one waiting all the way back here for this train? All right, is it going to be moving now? Waiting for Davis Breeding, so it's waiting for the stake train, which just pulled in. Okay, so I get all right. Yeah, I forgot to put a signal here on this line. There we go. So that gives it another opportunity to stop. So is it moving? Yes. All right, it's moving. Yeah, perfect. Sixteen thousand from steak, and that's my warehouse train with with uh, with corn this time. That's good. So how's the demand doing here? California is a new state. Hey, that's that's good. Um, okay, so now that train is heading back to the get more cows. And this one should just blow straight through the station. It shouldn't have to stop. And then hopefully it's going to take the left lane or the left rail to get to the warehouse. Let's see if that works. All right, yeah. So he made it over and is out of the way. So now it's waiting for... Uh, 
my puny train with two corn to get into the station. Okay. So he should get unloaded and leave. And now will the express train get to chance? Yeah, okay, so now the express train is heading into Chicago. How's my research coming along? 120, so I still need two more technologies. Mm. Well, I don't really need that express signal. 8% more passengers. I mean, it's not a bad thing, I suppose, especially now I have a second express train going. But still, I might as well pick it up just so I can make some progress on the express train, because I still need one more technology uh, to be able to unlock that one. Oh, equipment. Which one is this? Oh, that's my Indianapolis Toledo line. Because I forgot to build the damn supply tower. Um, I thought I built that twice now. <laughs> but, alright, now it's it's officially there. So that should fix that train as soon as it gets a chance to stop. Alright, and how's my warehouse doing? Alright, it's getting a little bit of corn in. A conductor with profit from transportation of mail by 10%. Hey, why not? I've got another express train here carrying some mail. So might as well throw him on it. Oh, he's already assigned, but that's the new one. So okay, I got him in place. So that should give me a little bit of a profit boost on that. And okay, the train from the warehouse is leaving empty very good and where's my grain um, which one is this right, so yeah we're still at capacity ooh okay So there's still some capacity for the beer. The steak is overflowing here. Okay. So now I need to figure out a way to get the items I'm getting to the warehouse to the individual cities. Because um, he is leaving empty. But... What if I have this train stop at Chicago on its way back to the corn? Then I wouldn't have to set up a new engine in line. And I just need to make sure the warehouse will only give him grain. I don't want him to take any corn. And there's no wood getting to the warehouse yet. So maybe I'll hold off on that for now. But yeah, this way it skips through Chicago on the way to the warehouse, but stops in Chicago on the way back. I might as well add the wood in now, just so I don't forget about it later. Um, but yeah, that, that would actually work out pretty well, I think. It would, uh... Perfect. So I, I could probably do the same thing with my warehouse line on the other side. Oh, another random breakdown, okay. So, set up a new line. It's going to the warehouse. I can have it stop at Toledo on the way back. And I want it to bring wood and corn to Toledo. So yeah, that works out pretty well. Um, and that saves me the need to set up two additional lines. And another random breakdown over here. Fantastic. Hopefully that's not anything foretelling in regards to my warehouse plan in general. But for the most part, I think I'll leave the game here for now. Uh, it's already probably rounding near an hour, an hour and a half of gameplay for this, for this episode. Um, 
I've had a real great time though, and to be quite honest, I made it a lot further than I did in my yesterday, uh, my playthrough yesterday, so hopefully that's a good sign. Um, I am probably going to pop around, play a couple of other games I've had my eyes on, but uh, definitely expect me to come back and try to finish this scenario here in a little bit. But I do thank you for your time and your attention, and if you think this game even looked a little bit interesting, I'd definitely recommend you to pick it up. It's uh, it's actually been kind of a fun ride. <laughs> but uh, again, thanks for your time, and uh, have a good one.